I'm Ryan. I like exercise, and I like beer. I also like arbitrary goals and self-made challenges. My nipples are gonna get the aqua for treatment. Oh, that feels nice. Here's your nipple cream back. I feel terrible. <laughs> so while grossly untrained. All right, just came off test run number two. Last week's was an absolute failure. My IT band locked up at three miles, but I just finished six. So uh, I'm considering that a win. Next week, I'm going for it. I'm gonna do my very best to run a half marathon, but with a twist. After every second mile, I'm gonna stop at one of my favorite places in town and have a beer. So by the end of the day, if all goes well, I'll be 13 miles and seven beers deep. This will be one of the hardest and dumbest things I've ever decided to do, but that's what makes it interesting. So I'm Laura. I'm a nurse, and I'm here to make sure that Ryan doesn't die. He was my neighbor for a long time, so, you know, I kind of like the guy, but he's a weirdo, and it's gonna be fun watching him try to do this run while drinking. So this is basically gonna be a normal day for me. Uh-huh. Uh, just with a lot more running. <sighs> he's alive, for right. now. For now. Is your machine dead? <laughs> I brought batteries. <laughs> okay, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> He's gonna be fine. What is it? So for a man that doesn't run. Sickeningly healthy. Damn, that's good. All right, so I'm alive for now. Uh, you will be checking in with me uh, at the halfway point and at the end, so let's get this going. All righty, I am off. KT taped up. I'm only really worried about my knees. I've been having IT band issues and I've done little to no training for this day. I've got cameraman Matt's fancy little watch. It's gonna track how far I'm going. I really contemplated going the authentic runner route and wearing far too short of shorts. Maybe my hardy boys would show a little bit, but I don't think my wife wants my twig and giggle berries out around town. I am not a runner, or at least I shouldn't be. I don't have the genetics for it. But what I do have is the genetics for something else the tenacity for destroying myself. I like to think I'm an aggressively average man, but with the overly average ability to be stubborn, and my body pays the price for it. Get on the grass, son, that feels nice. I'm not much of a runner. I'm more of an 80-year-old man shuffler. Face of a hard-ridden 26-year-old, joints of a octogenarian. So that grass feels good. There she is, Lazy Hiker. That is my place of employment. The best beers in town, baby. I suppose I'm a little bit partial. Hey, buddy! I'm sorry. I didn't call. There he is. The G-Spot and the D-Money. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a cameraman treat. Yeah, there he is. Matty the cameraman. These hills are gonna be the death of me today. It's gonna be a lot of slow meandering and walking today. I figure not everybody runs an entire marathon. Not everybody runs an entire half marathon. And I am tremendously out of shape. Despite what my vitals tell you, I'm not an in shape man. All right, we made it to the first spot. Curry he Brewing. This is not fun. <laughs> this is, well, it is fun, but it's not fun. I know that after like the second stretch and the second bunch of beers, I'm gonna really have a hard go of it, and I'm probably gonna throw up, but that'll be good for camera. Let's go have a beer. Hello, hello. How are you? I will get a Lucky Scars Hazy. Okay. Kurohi was actually the first brewery out of two that Misty and I came to when we first came to Franklin. We love it, we love it for the river spot. It's just beautiful out here, it really is. They got a cool thing going on. I've kayaked on this river, and over there is a good dog park. Anna, have a good one. We're at the Little Tennessee River. To my knowledge, it's a rare river that actually flows south to north. Pretty cool. Today is really the ultimate sightseeing day, but not the sights ones typically are attracted to while visiting little mountain towns. We're not going to Wyabald or Satula Mountain. I'm seeing bits of my town that are usually overlooked. Look at all this lumber. The amount of trees that went down. 
just so we can have floors. Those people need floors. Franklin Press, Franklin Press. That's our local newspaper. We should do a story on this. Local man grinds knees and hips into a fine powder for dumb video. And doing it the only way I feel you can truly appreciate it, by the slow grind of an Appalachian hill. One of many of our ridiculously steep hills that I'm going up and down, sometimes two or three times, and I'm okay with walking it, because I'm feeling every step. But luckily I've got Icy Hot for horses, ibuprofen, KT tape, and booze. So we are at Outdoor 76. It is one of two hiker resupply stores in town, but it is the only one with the tap room. <laughs> Thank you, starting to tap. Oh, it's gonna be a one and done type of day. <laughs> Sitting is the wrong choice. Usually is. I've drank my beer, I've reapplied some horse liniment, I've reapplied my KT tape. I underestimated the effectiveness of the heat and the lethargicness of the booze. But if there's anything I'm good at, it's plowing ahead. Today is about pacing. A pace fit to match too many beers and a pace fit to match the quality of the untrained body. Too much of either too fast will knock the stubborn train off its rails. And in fact, it's only barely hanging on. My IT band is hurting a bit, but I think I'm just gonna try to plow through it. Hopefully it doesn't lock up too much. If it's a little ache, I can deal with a little ache. So this location here, a little bit of trivia for you. The Zach Galifianakis film was made here. Masterminds, never seen it. Lazy Hiker Brewing, stop number three. Beautiful. That's so good. That is so good. And it's beautiful because I helped make this one. Well, let's take a look at your vital signs and see okay. if you're dead yet. All right, let's do it. I don't think I'm dead yet, but let's give it a go. Any food? No food. Nope. No food, but beer has calories and carbs. <laughs> Technically, technically, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the pirates of olden days used to take beer on trips because um, it was calories and it wouldn't go bad. So, it's valid. if a pirate can make it, by God. We're halfway, we're at the halfway point. And according to Matt's fancy dancy little watch, we've done 7.9 miles. This next stretch is the stretch that I'm, I think I'm most scared of. Uh, it's a lot of uphill. With every step that I take with more beer in my system, I'm feeling more and more exhausted and heartburn. That is something I did not anticipate, was the intense heartburn that I'm feeling. This is still a fun day. And uh, I feel like maybe more people should do stuff like this, maybe just with less drinking. Pain is a relative term, until it's not. Same with exhaustion. Joints and lungs, like mountains and hills, are built up and worn down with time. But like a rock slide, sometimes it all falls apart. Oh, that feels nice. Here's your, here's your nipple cream back. Just a lovely steady hill the whole way. That hill sucked. That was terrible. That was the hardest hill of the whole, whole shebang. I'm feeling this stretch a lot. And I'm thinking after this stretch, one of two things is gonna happen. Adrenaline's gonna hit hard and I'm gonna feel good for the rest of it or I'm gonna crash. I hope it's the first one. All right, how goes it? I'm gonna die. So we've made it to Slanted Window. Awesome little wine bar. I'm not drinking wine because today is a beer run, not a wine run. We're getting it done. This is too thick of a beer, I shouldn't have got this. Oh, no. Here we are on Bidwell. This is a happening street, especially around Halloween. This place is insane. 
Oh, my knee is killing me. I can feel my form going to shit. My hips are on fire. My IT band is screwed. But we are on the home stretch. All right, right. Come on. terrible uh, the knee is the worst it's been the entire time but I've got three miles to go so I'm hoping I can just plow ahead what's a little bit of permanent damage for three miles but we are at the Rathskeller which is one of another one of my favorite places in town and the only place in town that pours Guinness correctly so naturally I got to have a Guinness um, this is the worst my knees ever felt, and I have three more miles to go. Ten miles deep. This is my fifth beer. This could possibly be considered public intoxication, so... Whee! Interesting concepts are not hard to come by, and a beer run is interesting in its own way. But there's always something more in the story. Is it about the run and the pain, or the places and the people I know? Well, really, it's about all of it. Because without the people and the places, it really means nothing at all. And to a wonderful surprise of a random Thursday night, in which I'd usually be working, I limp into my favorite place in town, filled with some of my favorite people. Back to Lazy Hiker. save my knee because rest seems to make it worse we only got 1.1 miles left I think I'm just gonna pound a beer and keep on trekking and really bring this day home all right I'm gonna take my time on the rest beer done that was maybe six minutes here I'm out last mile So I trek on, with KT tape held together with bits of duct tape, as if 13 miles is some sort of feat. And in fact, I don't really think it is. But with chafe that would rival some local cow udders, saliva thick with the hop soup of six beers, and the hips and knees of a man who would appear to have run multiple beer runs, it does feel like a lot. Doing a project like this makes you really appreciate the town you're living in. And a wonderful group of friends that support me in this project cheered me on. What a wonderful day. I don't care how beat up I am. This is awesome. Thank you guys <laughs> to a wonderful day. Woo! Yes! You did it! That's not good. We did it. I feel weird. I feel good. I feel in pain. I feel wonderful. I feel all the emotions of the day, but what I don't feel is stress. And I think that's really that's a really good thought to have. You should probably drink some more water. My blood pressure is 84 <laughs> over 54. Is that that's gotta be wrong. Let's pull this up and try again. That's more like it, that's more accurate. 124 over 97. Now the question is, what do I do with the rest of the night? So I've never taken an ice bath, and I feel like today is the perfect day for it. Oh, let's give it a go. Get in there, legs, and oh, this sucks! 